core standards, what kids need to know and be able to do, fewer, clearer, and higher standards. The most important thing for us was to make sure they were also reality-based. And so we had teachers from across America actually help make sure teachers could get their arms around it and kids could really understand and use it. We looked at the college and career readiness standards, took them apart, looked at them, thought about them, wrote some comments, and then met with the people who had been writing them, both the literal writer and the people on the councils behind it. When we gave that feedback to the writers, they took every single piece of advice. And it was exciting that they listened to us. And we're going to wind up with standards that we can use in our classrooms. That's why the essential questions work for me. What's really interesting is that even though we play a different role in our schools and our districts all look different, we still, when we met, had a shared vision of what we thought was good teaching what we felt were strong, rigorous standards, and it feels really empowering to be a part of that. Teachers support the Common Standards Initiative because we want to have high expectations and the same focus for kids, regardless of where they live in the country. And ultimately, even though local control and local flexibility is really important, you can build a much better education system when you have high standards and then you work on the curriculum, professional development, and the training that teachers need in order to do a great job.